All right, now this video is going to cover the second special right triangle. So there's only two, okay? The first one was when it, you have a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. The next one is when you have a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. So because you have a smaller angle, right? 30 is the smallest. That means your legs will not be equal. So one will be short and one will be long. And so now I'm going to go ahead and mark my angles. So where I put the angles is important, and I'm just refreshing your memory on some things from back in the day. Across from your, so again, remember, this is always your hypotenuse. Across from your right angle. Across from the short leg, so visually I'm going off, this is the short leg. That has to be the 30 degree angle. And then across from the long has to be the 60. Okay. Now, just to save time, again, it would have been great if we were in class this term. <laughs> um, but you would um, play around with these values using Pythagorean theorem a bunch. And you'd come up and you, we would see this pattern happen where... Across from your 30 degree angle is X, okay? Across from your 60 degree angle is X root three. And then your hypotenuse is double your short leg. So again, you would have seen that come up about naturally if we played around with triangles a bunch and um, this pattern just evolves. It's pretty crazy, and it happens every single time only when you're in a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Again, if you were in a 31, 59, 90, does not happen, and you're going to be left using Pythagorean Theorem or the other um, tools you'll learn in 7.1. So an example of this, I should make it look longer, and this will be my 30 degree angle. And this will be my 60 degree angle. So an example of this, making up some values, um, I'm going to say across from the 30, let's make it 5. Okay. And my goal is going to be to solve the rest of the triangle. So I have to figure out the, the lengths. Okay, well, just following this pattern. From here to here, I multiply by root 3. So I just get 5 root 3 is that length which hopefully that sits okay with you because that guy's longer, right? So five times root three is a bigger value than just five. And then to get your hypotenuse, you double your short leg, so you get 10. Okay, so let's, uh, the two examples I'm looking at down there don't really give me one. So let me go ahead and give you another example here. So now, I'm going to go ahead and draw this in a different orientation so you don't get attached to things. And those don't look the best, <laughs> um, but I'm going to make this 60 degrees and this 30 degrees. Okay, so now I'm going to give you the hypotenuse to start with. Uh, let's go ahead and make it, I don't know, 8. Okay, well, if I'm looking at this pattern, it's kind of hard to get from 2x to x root 3, but to get from 2x to x, hmm, it looks like I'll just divide by 2. So from here to here, I end up getting 4. And hopefully that makes sense because if you double 4, you get 8, and that's what the you know formula says, the pattern. And then I always like to go from short to long because then I just take the value of the short leg and multiply it by root 3. So let's try a couple down here. 2. So you're given the hypotenuse, right? So hopefully you're okay with the fact that this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. You're given the hypotenuse because it's across from the right angle. So when that case happens, you always want to go ahead and go to the short leg first. 
which would always be across from the 30. Well, what's 24 divided by 2? 12. And they, in this sheet that I created, I only wanted you to find x, but let's just keep going. So then if I wanted the long leg, you just take your short leg and you multiply it by root 3. So maybe try to pause the video and try 4 and see if we all get the same answers. So my hypotenuse is 18. I'm going to go to my short first, which is across from 30, so that will be 9. And then I'm going to go to the long, and I multiply it by root 3. And let's just say you're not buying into this still, okay? So if I was going to check this, this is 9 squared plus 9 root 3 squared. Does it equal 18 squared? And so, let me grab my calculator. 9 squared is 81 plus... Be careful of this, this would be 81 times 3, and then 18 squared is 324. Okay, and the reason, so that's 9 squared is 81, and then root 3 squared, well that becomes, it gets rid of your radical, right? Or it's the square root of 9, which is 3. And if I use my calculator and I do 81 plus 81 times 3, it does work out. Okay, let me just go and see if we want to do one more. Let's go ahead and do 8 and 10. And then the completed one of these will be posted online. So if you want to try on your own. All right, so if I'm looking at 8, that's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So what is given to you? It looks like your long leg because it's across from the 60. So to get from your long to your short, well, just following the pattern, I'm going to move this up. Well, it looks like if I want to go from long to short, I have to get rid of that root 3. And think about it, you're going from something longer to shorter, so that's why you would divide. So you end up getting just 5. And then from short to your hypotenuse, you double. Now for 10, these are marked as being the same. That's what those mean. So that means this is a 45, 45 degree. And for, sorry, 45, 45, 90 triangle. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, well, that's a leg. So that means x has to be 6 root 2. And to go from your leg to your hypotenuse, you multiply by root 2. So we end up getting 6 times 2, so we get 12. Okay, so your worksheet might be a little more challenging than this, but just try it and then reach out if you have any questions.